one of my goals for 2023 is to get into tea drinking a little bit more. I don't really like drinking more tea, but like exploring the world of tea, become more familiar with the things that I like that I don't like. Cause at this moment in time, pretty much the main two that I like are hibiscus tea and green tea. That's it. Like that's as far as I've got into it. So I've kind of like asked around, got some help from people that are major tea drinkers. The top thing that they said to do if I want to like explore is get an actual kettle. Apparently I was not doing the right temperature of the water for the type of tea leaf that I had, which is why I didn't like that one because it was like burnt. This wasn't the right temperature and an electric kettle is apparently the best way to go about it. So I got one. It looks super easy to use too. It says stainless steel rapid boil. I really like that. Precise spout, ergonomic design, and it's like, it's a little gooseneck tea kettle. It's going to match my espresso machine really nicely. Bring the barista home. All right, let's see. Hopefully we can just like set it up and get into it. it says, please read this before you go forward. Okay, I will read that. Oh, that's like the lid. Okay. Did I say it's an electric? Yeah, it's an electric one. Here is the pad that it goes on. Lug that in, put that on top, and push the bottom there and go. Let's see how much you can get in here because it doesn't seem like it holds a lot of water. I mean, which is totally fine because if it's rapid boil, I can just like go back and make more whenever I need to. I've also been doing a lot of searching for different companies that sell specialty blends of tea that I feel that I might like. And this company immediately grabbed my eye. It is called Brutalities. And basically their entire line of teas are inspired by horror movies. So they pick one of their favorite horror movies and then make a tea blend based off of that. Since we are in the week of Friday the 13th, I had to grab one that was inspired by the movies. Okay, this is adorable. It comes with a sticker, Brutalities. It says, thank you, we hope that you enjoy it. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to. It is called Chai Day the 13th. You also have the option of getting in a tin or bags. And since I am in the process of building up my tea apothecary, I went for the tin because once this is all gone, if I love it, I can get more, replace this, can set on the shelf. I don't know. We'll probably have to have an entirely different area in my barista bar because it's pretty full with just like coffee stuff. So I don't really know where all the tea is going to go, but on the bottom, I like that it tells you, it says use one to 1 1.5 teaspoons per eight ounces of water, steep for three to five minutes at 195 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if that is like necessary for everyone who is into tea, but I appreciate this. Like all of the extra details because I've just been going in with like no idea, honestly, just throwing it in some hot water and kind of hoping that it's gonna turn out. And most of the time it doesn't. Shocking, I know. I love this tin. <gasps> Oh, it's not just a cinnamon overload, which is kind of, I was a little bit worried about that. Whenever it says cinnamon and it's like one of the first ingredients, I get a little nervous about that. But no, it's just like, this is seriously so pretty too. Apple, I mean, you can kind of smell basically everything. I think it's the orange peels that I'm smelling though. There's big pieces of clothes in here too. Since I'm gonna have all of this loose tea around, I needed to get a tea infuser. I'm pretty sure that I had one at one time, but honestly, I can't find it. So placed in order, now I have two of them. These are so freaking adorable. They are tiny skulls. And the top of it has like little holes where the water will go and like funnel through bones to hold on the side of your cup. And you can see the teeth on the inside. This brings me so much joy. So in a way, I guess I'm glad that I lost my other infuser because these are fantastic.
the way that this just became my new favorite thing so quickly like I mean it's a skull tea infuser okay I forgot to bring out a thing to put the infuser on but it's done it's ready to go so I need to pull that out mm. okay that is really good the bits of apple in it give it a little tiny bit of sweetness without it being overly like sickeningly sweet or I don't really like any of my beverages to be super sugary so the fact that the apple was not overpowering same with the cinnamon it's actually really really nice they have so many different options over there so many different blends you could easily spend hours just scrolling through everything the only way that i was able to narrow it down to just this one is the fact that it was friday the 13th week like it's a holiday here so we had to celebrate and it was just like calling my name but now when i go back to try something different i I think I'm gonna get one of their samplers so there's like a little box that you can order and you can pick out like five or six different sample sizes of the tea and then they package it all together that way before I commit to another tin full of the tea which because like that's a lot like that will last me a very long time even if I drink a little bit every single day like for right now, that is a lot for me. So if you're in the same boat as me and you're like trying new teas, I would definitely get that sampler size. And also just like enjoy all the super fun names too. Since it is Tuesday, I'm actually gonna work up a little bit of Tunisian crochet something. I have no idea what I want to do. I just know that I wanna get back into that a little bit. I have about three projects sitting in the corner, a cardigan, some pants, a jumper, okay, there's four, and a crop top that have just, I haven't touched them in months. They're just sitting there, I don't know, for whatever reason, there's been many other projects that have come up that I'm like, okay, I'd rather work on this than this, so they've just got shoved to the side, and unfortunately, I don't feel like working on them. Like, I just don't. I don't dislike them enough to unravel them and start over. I will finish them eventually, but like, not today. <laughs> Which means I need to look around a little bit in my favorite Tunisian crochet book. I've made so many things from this book. Keep going back to it. Like everything that I make out of here is solid gold. It's amazing. It's super easy to understand. The pictures are gorgeous. Like, I don't have any complaints. I made this blanket and I actually made one for myself and then I gifted it as well. So this is definitely a top contender to make again. It has the honeycomb stitch, which it's really, really easy, repetitive type of stitch, making it great for this week because I have a lot of Friday the 13th movies to watch. So for this week, I have five for sure that I'm gonna be watching. But I mean, like, there's many of them. So if it comes to Friday and I still have, like, time, I'll just, like, throw on a couple more. And this is kind of the project that I want to work on. So I haven't made this yet, the Oxford Floor Poof. If you've made one of these, you know they're seriously the greatest. The only thing is I don't have all the stuff for the poof to, like, go inside it, which wouldn't be a big deal because I could just order it. I can make the actual outside and then order the inside. And whenever that gets here, it gets here. But I kind of wanted it as like a goal to get it done for Friday. I don't even know if that's doable. Like that's just unnecessary stress and pressure for what? <laughs> like literally no reason. But I kind of want to. Midday fringe scarf. I've also made this many times and gifted this. I haven't saved one for myself, so. I could do this. Ooh, I think there is another blanket in here, actually. Maybe I'm just feeling a blanket and I should just roll with that because there's actually a cardigan in here and I don't feel like making that today. So this one, but this has a lot of color work. Lexington cashmere gloves. I do love a good glove. Also an amazing gift. I had plans of making new pillow covers for my movie room on my Addy machine. But this could also be a good option because, again, nice, quick, and easy project. There's a little bit of stripes there. I could do black and red combo. The Kensington tote bag looks very interesting. And I feel like it would be cute 
if you made a gift and used this as like a gift bag, I think that would be super cute to have on hand. But again, I'm not feeling like making a bag. Okay, it's a blanket then. I'm feeling like making a blanket. I don't need to start another blanket though. That's the thing. Obviously it's because I know that I'm gonna be watching all these movies and I have this time to sit down and do this big project. Like I said, I've made it a couple times now. One of the times I didn't put the tassel on it, that was requested by the person that I gifted it to. They just were not feeling tassels just like in general in their life. And I was like, that's totally fine. Okay, let's actually look through my yarn stash because I'm not gonna go buy any yarn for this project. Whatever I have in the yarn dungeon that isn't already claimed for patterns because I have a lot of patterns like up and coming. So I don't know that there's gonna be a lot of selection for blanket yarn, but let's just check. I found a couple of different options. First up is the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Bobbin. I think I have two, four, six, seven of these all together. It's actually really, really good for blankets because it's anti-pilling. So it's great to throw in the washer and the dryer as many times as you need. It holds up really, really well. The only thing is it's a medium number four. So it suggests a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So like Tunisian crochet, you normally bump it up. So like a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. That's still, I don't know. This might be too thin. I like the color though, obviously, cause I have a ton of them. So that is option number one. This one, I have no idea. The tag is off of it. I'm assuming it's line brand yarn because this is like their I have a bunch of them down here. What are they called? It's not pound. Of, yeah, it is. It's called pound of love. I have a bunch of these. Whenever Joanne has these on sale, I just kind of grab them all up. I'm just not sure. Are they, the, they look like the same color. Okay, so it's like a gray charcoal is what it's called. I have five of these and they are 1,020 yards each. I'm assuming that this tag just came off because I have no idea what I would use this for. So they all have a lot. Again, this is a number four medium though, which is kind of looking like what I'm gonna have to do, 6.5. The only reason, I just wanted to use like a little bit bigger Tunisian crochet hook to get going a little quicker so I could potentially have it done by Friday, but it doesn't look like that's happening. Okay, so there's that. I have a bunch of these, which I actually did make a Hudson tassel blanket with this, the impeccable yarn. It's a medium number four, but it's like thicker. It feels thicker to me anyways. If only I had a black and that would have been perfect. I could have had a Friday the 13th blanket right here because I just have two, it looks like. Yeah, I only have two, but I could have done stripes or something. I guess really, it's not like I need to stay with the same brand either. I could just, it's going to be kind of a scrap blanket anyways. I could put these two together. Other option was the Hobie Mega Ball. This stuff, I freaking love this for blankets, but this one is a DK weight because I got it specifically for making cardigans. Also is a worsted weight, which that one is actually on sale right now. I, it wouldn't get here in time, but I'm like, I'm just reminding myself because I need to grab some more for my stash. So this one is a light number three. So it is pretty thin. So for a blanket, I mean, maybe if I change my mind from a blanket just to a throw, I could do that. But this compared to this, I'm just feeling more this direction. I wish I had more of this stuff. But again, I'm not gonna go to Michael's. I'm not gonna go to Joanne's. I'm not shopping anywhere. This is a what I have in my stash. I'm just looking around to see like if I have any other spot that I would keep my impeccable yarn. But I think this really is it. You know what? I totally forgot that I have a bunch of this Big Twist Living Yarn. This is fantastic for blankets because it's 100% anti-pilling and acrylic. And look at this. I have all of my staple colors right here. I don't have a lot of each. I think there's only four skeins of each of these. But like to make a throw, that's a pretty good size throw. And honestly, I can put this in with this one. Those are pretty similar colors. 
This one is obviously a little bit darker. This is the winner. Yes, I'm gonna go with this direction. It's a four medium, but again, it just feels a little thicker to me. And at the end of the day, it's all about how I feel when it comes to the project that I'm working on, right? So it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're good. I'm gonna turn on one of the movies. I think I'm just gonna start with the very first one, the Friday the 13th, the original one. I'm gonna throw that on. Maybe I'll pull out the Tunisian crochet book stitch book out look through that a little bit and see if there's something that i might want to play around with again i am gonna do the blanket that is actually on the cover here but i'm gonna use this as like a guideline so it's called the montley blanket and that's what it looks like i just don't know that i feel like doing all this color change and i only have four different colors this one calls for five, which that's not a big deal. I could just kind of use four and then repeat one. 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I think the whole thing is, well, most of it anyways, is the Tunisian simple stitch. This picture right here, that's exactly how I want to feel on Friday with the blanket done. This is all just very wishful thinking that I'm going to get everything done by Friday. Okay, so 6.5. It looks really thin compared to some of the chunky hooks that I've been using for my other bigger blankets. And it's, okay, what length of cord do I need to use? 32 inch. I think this was the same one as the other blanket. I love the crimson red of this cord. And the cords just in and of themselves because they're really, they're like very malleable. They don't bend and then stay in that position because again, I haven't touched these forever and they're not all curled up. That's the main thing with Tunisian crochet is that the cord is very cumbersome to me. This is my favorite set of Tunisian crochet hooks with the cable. I have other ones without the cable that I like better than this one, um, but as a whole, the cable is a very big deal to me. So this is my favorite so far. I'm always up for trying new ones. Now, which color should I start with first? Let's just maybe start with black. Cause I think I have the most of that. I have like six of these. Yeah, six skeins. Ooh, I need a yarn bowl too. Immediate mess. Now to chain all of these chains. With one movie fully, completely watched, how much did I actually get done during said movie? Not that much. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like an early 2000s scarf at the moment. <laughs> like this is all I have done. I think I have about 20 rows done. The stitch though, I am really, really loving the Tunisian simple stitch. I forgot how fun it is. You just kind of roll with it and you don't have to really even think about it. So I'm loving that. I'm loving the yarn that I chose. Can you tell that I'm really trying to hype myself up in like, this is a great choice. Good job, Kayla, for choosing another blanket even though signs are pointing towards it will not be done by Friday. There is, uh, that's what I was looking for, 199 yards in here. And this is about how much I have left of just the first skein from that amount of rows. But it's just really, really soft and super enjoyable to work with. I also decided that this is gonna be my Friday the 13th yarn bowl. I finished a pair of socks, so that got out of it and it's just been sitting empty. And I feel like, you know, Perfect color combo. Oh, it does give you suggestions. So it says six skeins for a throw. I will definitely need more for my throw. Five for a sweater, one for a hat, and three for a hat and scarf. It has the little diagram on the back. You can see the little pictures. I don't know about that number for a sweater though. I mean, maybe. I also like mine to be like really oversized. So I would probably need like at least six or seven. As always, it does have suggestions. So if you wanna try this yarn and you don't wanna be like me and start a brand new blanket when you really don't have time or the hours in the day to make a new blanket, there might be some better suggestions here. Big dash twist dash yarn, just right there. Just check that out. They have a ton 
of patterns and I've actually used some of them. That's where I'm at on it. Am I still having fun? Absolutely. Like this was the main reason for starting this new project. I didn't really want to think about what project I was gonna work on. I have many other projects already going. So I could have chose any of those, but I just wanted to be like, this is the project for when I'm watching the Friday the 13th movie marathon throughout the week. If that's my only justification for this blanket, it is what it is. So we're here now. I'm just gonna keep on working through this throughout the week. And then on Friday, I will definitely do an update, show you where I'm at. It would be magical if I actually had an entire throw done. One thing I will say is if you are interested in getting into Tunisian crochet, you need this book. Like in my opinion, this is the best beginner Tunisian crochet book that I have ever come in contact with. I have many, many Tunisian crochet books. This one just blows the rest of them out of the water. Obviously, I have not got bored. I have done patterns multiple times in here. And even with the, uh, the stitches that they have in front with the tutorial and everything, it's super, super useful. Even though I've already done those stitches, uh, sometimes it's nice to have a little refresher. So the fact that it's all in one place, like this book has paid for itself many times times over and I just feel like everyone needs to know about it and especially if you like blankets like me there's two of them in here you can go ahead and start the other one the Hudson tassel throw that I'd say start with that one it's a great one as I've said I've made it many many times anyways I am gonna just keep on working on this blanket I'm probably gonna throw on another movie from Friday the 13th collection. Not sure which one that will be, but if you have a lineup for this week of Friday the 13th movies, shout it out down below. I'd love to know what you're watching and how you're celebrating. Otherwise, for today, that is it. So thank you again for hanging out with me, watching me start another brand new project. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.